Hey! Movie lovers welcome back to Pop Movie Recap. If you want more movie recaps and the latest updates, stay tuned by subscribing to Pop Movie Recap. Now, let's jump right into the action. At the Medieval World theme park in Los Angeles, Jamal, a disgruntled employee, is tasked with cleaning a ditch as punishment for talking back to his boss. Jamal and his co-worker, fully wielding sword, dreaming of working at the rival park Castle World, Jamal discovers a glimmering gold medallion in the ditch. As he reaches for it, the medallion unexpectedly begins to glow, pulling Jamal into a vortex and depositing him into an unfamiliar lake. Confused but determined, Jamal swims to shore, where he encounters Nolte, a disheveled and inebriated man. His assumption is shattered when Nolte collapses unconscious before him. Despite his initial disgust at Nolte's unkempt appearance, after attempting to revive Nolte with CPR, Jamal resorts to using breath spray to awaken him due to the man's foul breath. To Jamal's surprise, Nolte quickly regains consciousness, believing Jamal to be his savior. Nolte leads Jamal to his makeshift camp, where Jamal struggles to conceal his distaste for the primitive living conditions and unappetizing food. As Nolte reveals that he has been ostracized for failing the queen, offering him a token gesture of two dollars before attempting to leave. Determined to confront the knights and perhaps find a way back to his world, Jamal embarks on a journey through the unfamiliar terrain, uncertain of what awaits him beyond the horizon. Venturing further into the unfamiliar fortress, Jamal encounters guards, who halt his progress, demanding to know his identity. Mistaking his reference to a Los Angeles intersection for a region in France, the guards believe Jamal to be a messenger from Normandy and grant him passage, claiming the king awaits his arrival. Inside the fortress, Jamal is greeted by a bustling market and a puppet show depicting the tale of the Black Knight. His attention is soon diverted by Victoria, the chambermaid to the princess, attempting to charm her with modern slang. Though Victoria is impressed by his literacy when he requests paper and her contact information, their interaction is interrupted by the arrival of Pershall, whose inappropriate advances toward Victoria prompt Jamal to confront him unaware of the seriousness of the situation. Dismissing Pershall's threats as part of a staged performance, Jamal's bravado escalates the tension until the arrival of Philip diffuses the confrontation. Led to the throne room, Jamal is introduced to King Leo and Princess Regina. Mistaking the encounter for a theatrical improvisation, Jamal responds to King Leo's inquiry about the Duke of Normandy's arrival with an offhand remark about Tuesday. Following his encounter in the throne room, Philip graciously offers Jamal a tour of the castle, during which Jamal seeks out the facilities for a moment of privacy. As Jamal and Philip venture to the castle, they are swept up in the commotion of a crowd, gathering to witness the execution of a rebel leader. Assuming it to be a staged spectacle, Jamal eagerly joins the throng. In a moment of shock, he inadvertently grabs the severed head, mistaking it for a prop before succumbing to unconsciousness. Regaining consciousness in his chamber, Jamal is tended to by Victoria, who gently informs him of a harsh reality. He has been transported back to the year 1328, overwhelmed by the gravity of his situation. To Jamal's surprise, Victoria reveals a shared symbol, a medallion signifying allegiance to the rebel cause. Urging Jamal to assist in overthrowing King Leo, who seized power through regicide, Victoria outlines the rebels' plight and their quest to restore the rightful queen to the throne. Just as Jamal contemplates his next move, Philip interrupts with news of Jamal's departure. Confronted with the unexpected mode of transportation, a horse instead of a car, mounting the horse proves to be a comedic ordeal for Jamal, as he struggles to maintain his balance and control. Leo extends an invitation to Jamal to ride alongside him, impressed by Jamal's persistent struggles with the horse, which Leo interprets as dedication to his craft. Back at the castle, Victoria tends to Jamal's injuries, resorting to the medieval practice of applying leeches, much to Jamal's horror. After removing the leeches, Jamal confides in Victoria his urgency to return to the lake, where he first encountered Nolte, shocking Victoria the revelation that Nolte was believed to be deceased. Before they can delve further into the mystery, Philip interrupts to inform Jamal of the king's invitation to that evening's banquet. Reluctant to attend, Jamal is swayed by Victoria's reminder of the grim reminder of the impaled heads outside the castle walls. Jamal finds himself repulsed by Leo's crude manners and table etiquette, yet feigns enthusiasm to avoid drawing attention to himself. When Leo requests a dance, citing the reputation of Normans as excellent dancers, Jamal attempts to adapt classical moves to the medieval music, only to appear awkward and out of place. Thinking quickly, 
Jamal introduces the court musicians to a modern tune, teaching them the steps to a lively song called Dance to the Music. Amidst the revelry, Victoria discreetly distributes bread to two servants, while Regina seizes an opportunity to steal a moment with Jamal, rising him with a bold kiss. Witnessing Jamal and Princess Regina in a compromising position, Percival erupts in fury, threatening Jamal's life for daring to touch the princess. Two servants covertly armed with knives concealed in bread. As they lunge to attack, Jamal intervenes, using drapes to swing from the balcony and inadvertently knocking Leo out of harm's way. The guards swiftly apprehend the would-be assassins and Leo, recognizing Jamal's bravery, hails him as a hero. Leo bestows upon Jamal the title of Lord entrusting him with the kingdom's security and rewarding him with vast lands and privileges. Eager to prove himself, Jamal introduces innovative ideas like frappuccinos and well-dressed fast-food employees at court meetings. Engaging in a game of chess with Percival, Dick remark about sacrificing the queen for the kingdom's sake. Called upon to administer justice, Jamal faces a moral dilemma when tasked with executing a thief caught stealing from the castle's garden. Feigning compliance, Jamal secretly aids the desperate man before the facade of his loyalty to the crown. In the evening, King Leo sends a scantily clad Victoria to Jamal's chamber as a reward for his service, feigning intimacy to avoid suspicion, while privately confiding his plans to depart the castle before the arrival of the true messenger. Victoria urges Jamal to assist the rebels with his newfound influence over the king. Jamal watches in frustration as she storms out of the room, her disappointment palpable. Outside, the guards, misinterpreting the situation, jokingly congratulate Jamal. Later that night, Jamal is surprised when a woman enters his chamber and joins him in bed. The arrival of the true messenger from Normandy shatters Jamal's illusions, exposing his folly. Leo and Percival burst into Jamal's chamber, only to find him entwined with Princess Regina, the messenger, a witness to their compromising position. The messenger's revelation about Regina's lost chastity Immediately confined to a cage in the dungeon, Jamal finds himself awaiting his inevitable execution, his hopes of survival dwindling with each passing moment. Amidst the shadows of the dungeon, he unexpectedly reunites with the two servant assassins from the ill-fated banquet. Initially resentful of Jamal for thwarting their assassination plot, now viewing him as a strategist for disrupting Leo's political ambition. In the dim confines of their captivity, they share with Jamal the legend of the Black Knight, a paragon of unwavering loyalty to justice, whose legendary exploits inspire Jamal with a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. As the hour of his execution approaches, Jamal clings to a desperate gambit, claiming to possess mystical powers as a last-ditch effort to evade death. Armed only with a lighter, he attempts to intimidate his captors with a feeble display of fire, but his theatrics fall flat in the face of their indifference. As Jamal's head is positioned on the chopping block, he chokes on an apple lodged in his throat. Seizing the opportunity, Jamal swiftly administers the Heimlich maneuver, dislodging the obstruction and saving the executioner's life. Interpret Jamal's actions as a display of dark magic. Claiming to possess supernatural powers, he theatrically threatens to make the sun fall from the sky, only to be interrupted by the arrival of a flaming arrow that strikes the king's tent. In the midst of the turmoil, a mysterious figure outside the castle launches a barrage of flaming arrows, plunging the scene into utter chaos. Seizing the opportunity, Victoria covertly frees Jamal and the two assassins, fleeing the scene on a cart. Jamal tumbling from the cart, he manages to evade capture, narrowly escaping the clutches of Percival's guards. As Jamal races towards freedom, pursued by arrows from the castle guards, a mysterious archer appears, Nolte. Swiftly rescuing Jamal, Nolte reveals that he orchestrated the escape as a repayment for Jamal's earlier act of saving his life. Together they make their way to the rebel camp, where Nolte bids Jamal farewell, haunted by his past failures. Faced with a pivotal decision, Jamal offers Victoria the chance to leave her troubled world behind and join him in the modern era. Victoria, steadfast in her loyalty to her people, chooses to remain alone once more. Jamal returns to the lake. Nolte's return to his camp is met with treachery as Percival's men, ambush him, setting the stage for a dangerous confrontation that will shape the fate of all involved. As the thugs harass Nolte, Jamal rushes to his aid. Drawing upon his knowledge of modern boxing techniques and a touch of improvisation, Jamal puts up a spirited fight, managing to fend off two of the assailants. In a crucial moment, 
Nolte rises to the occasion, unleashing a fierce retaliation that swiftly dispatches the attackers, asserting his loyalty to Jamal. Returning to the rebel camp, Jamal and Nolte are met with a devastating sight. The camp has been ravaged, and Victoria has been taken captive by Percival's men. Just as hope begins to wane, a surprising voice breaks the silence. Queen emerges, relieved to see Nolte alive and unburdened by blame for recent events. Jamal encourages the queen to deliver an inspiring address to the rebel. Stepping into the breach, Jamal draws inspiration from a multitude of famous speeches. In the days that follow, Jamal and Nolte lead the rebels in an intensive training regimen, blending modern sports techniques with traditional swordsmanship under Nolte's tutelage. In a symbolic exchange, Jamal gifts Nolte's rubber shoes for enhanced mobility, while Nolte presents Jamal with a suit of knight's armor, symbolizing their shared commitment to the cause. As the rebels launch their assault on the castle, they are stunned to find the gates mysteriously opened. Their initial elation quickly turns to horror as Percival reveals the trap, encircling the rebels with his soldiers, triggering a chaotic melee. Amidst the mayhem, Percival's knights are struck with terror at the sight of the Black Knight, who emerges shooting flames from his helmet. However, the illusion shatters when the Black Knight falls from his steed, revealing Jamal clad in his custom armor. Percival, fueled by rage, sets his sights on Jamal, but Nolte intervenes, sparking a duel between the two knights. While Nolte and Percival engage in their fierce swordplay, Jamal joins forces with the rebels, employing the techniques honed during their training to devastating effect. As the skirmish rages on, Percival retreats to the castle walls, where he encounters Leo, who pleads for aid, but is callously discarded by the treacherous knight. Nolte and Jamal press on, their resolve, unyielding, even as Nolt falls victim to Percival's arrow, gravely wounded but defiant. In a moment of desperation, Nolte passes his sword to Jamal, who, consumed by fury, charges towards Percival atop the castle wall. The confrontation takes an unexpected turn as Percival seizes Victoria as a hostage, threatening her life. Refusing to yield to despair, Victoria summons her inner strength, breaking free from Percival's grasp. In a final showdown, Percival and Jamal clash. Fortunately, Jamal swiftly recovers, retrieving his sword to pummel Percival with techniques borrowed from baseball and golf. As Percival collapses unconscious, Jamal rushes to unti Victoria, only to be blindsided by Percival's treachery. In a moment of peril, an arrow pierces Percival's chest, swiftly ending his threat. Jamal gazes down to see Nolte miraculously alive and unscathed his arrow true. In the aftermath of the battle, where they share a tender kiss, embarking on a new chapter together. Despite the Queen's entreaties for Jamal to remain, he declines, opting instead for the title of the Black Knight. Yet amidst the ceremony, Jamal is overcome by a sudden dizziness, awakening abruptly in his own time. Surrounding him are paramedics and his concerned co-worker, revealing that he had been submerged in the lake for ten minutes. Convinced it was all a dream, Jamal rejects his co-worker's opportunistic schemes, choosing instead to offer innovative ideas to his boss to propel the theme park's success. Six weeks later, Medieval World thrives under Jamal's creative stewardship, earning gratitude from his boss. Jamal encounters a woman named Nicole, strikingly reminiscent of Victoria. Sensing the connection, they agree to lunch. But as Nicole departs with her nephew, Jamal realizes he neglected to ask for her contact information. In a desperate attempt to catch up to Nicole, Jamal races after her, only to stumble and find himself transported to an ancient Roman Colosseum, pursued by roaring lions and surrounded by cheering spectators. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our next recaps on this channel. Until next time, happy watching.